Alright lads, welcome to the review of Inform Jao Moutinho. He hails from Portugal and plays for Monaco in Liga 1. Uh, he's right footed, he's got a high attacking work rate and he's got a high defensive work rate. He has a 4 star weak foot and he's got 3 star skills. And he has the injury free trait as well. So looking at his in games, his standouts are his 92 short pass, 90 reactions, 89 balance, 89 long shots, 88 ball control and 88 agility. You can pause the video for a close look at the rest of his stats. We've also included the gains from his non-inform as well for the Karen Parison. So Moutinho, he's got a great all-round stats. So if you look at his stats, his lowest stat being his 60 strength. And to be honest, that wasn't even that noticeable in game anyway. So he's the perfect player to use as a, a midfield creator. He's got 92 short pass and 89 long pass. So he should have no problem picking out those passes. And for me, his shooting was pretty beastly as well. Uh, he did score a couple of crackers from uh, outside the box, as you'll see in a couple of the clips. Possibly one of his negatives is his high, high work rates. Meaning sometimes he's going to be all over the shop on the pitch. Uh, like a box-to-box -box midfield, he's going to be up and down all the time. Uh, and we played him at Cam. Maybe not best suited, as he was dropping back quite a lot into the CDM position. But really, that wasn't too bad. To counter that is his defensive stats. He does have 84 interceptions and 81 stand tackle. So when he's dropping back, he can break up the play and he can create the attacks from deep. He's also great on the ball as well. He's got 88 ball control, 85 dribble and I think 88 agility, which are pretty decent stats for a central midfielder. So he's no problem on the ball, he's dribbling, dribbling around defenders and then looking for the killer pass to create the uh, goals for the rest of the team. So now onto his performance stats. What we do is we play 10 games, we get all the stats, then show you to get a better idea of how the player performed. So in 10 games, Moutinho scored 9 goals and he got 6 assists, which is pretty decent return from a, a cam. His stats are all down on the left there and his goals are on the bottom right on the goal map. You can pause the video for a close look if you like. So overall, we're giving Moutinho an 8.8 .8 out of 10. Really enjoyed using him, great little midfielder, who's probably more suited to a CM role rather than a cam due to his high, high work rates, meaning he's, he's going to be dropping back quite a lot. So finally, we're going to look at his positives and negatives. Positives are, as we say, his passing. As we said, he's got a great short pass and long passing. Decent, he's got a decent shot, scored some decent goals. His defence, he's got great defensive stats which comes in handy with his high high work rates for when he drops back. And uh, he makes a great box to box midfielder as well due to uh, all his stats. And also he's great on the ball as well. His negatives are obviously his high high work rates meaning as we keep saying <laughs> high high work rates as we've said sometimes he does drop back into a defensive role. Which may not be best for everyone. I know we strikers have a lot of problems with the high, high work rates like Cavani. Uh, another thing negative is his size and strength. I think he's only 5'8", so he's got quite a small stature. Uh, and only 60 strength, so he's going to be struggling when he's challenging for them defensive headers in centre and midfield. He's not going to win the headers against the big boys. So highly recommended if you want to make a Liga 1 team. To link up with Falcao and Rodriguez of Monaco. Or if you're looking to make a Portugal team, he's a great option at central midfield, which I think he's best being deployed at. Thanks a lot for watching, lads. Stay tuned for more FIFA 14. Obviously, we're going to have uh, some next-gen gameplay coming up. So thanks a lot for watching, lads. Cheers. Peace.